Hey, what's up guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and today I want to show you how to install iPhoto on a jailbroken iPhone or iDevice running 5.0.1. And as you can see here, um, I am indeed jailbroken. I have the Cydia app there. But when I go to install iPhoto, I get this nasty message. So I've already bought an iPhoto, but I can't install it because this app requires iOS 5.0.1. So uh, there's a way to fix that. And what we're going to do is I'm going to use this uh, program called, this app called MyFile. It's a free alternative to iFile, and it'll let you edit your system information. Uh, all you have to do to install iPhoto or iMovie or any app that requires iOS 5.1 as a prerequisite, um, we just have to go into iFile, and we'll make sure at the root of our phone there, and then we want to scroll down to System, go into Library, find Core Services, then go all the way down to System Version .plist right there. And see how it says iOS 5.0.1? In, in my file, we can edit this as text, and so we're going to go ahead and change that to iOS 5.1 just like that and now this is going to trick our phone into thinking that we're on iOS 5.1 after that we're just going to restart the springboard restart springboard and we're going to wait for that to restart there alright so once we have our springboard reset here um, then we can actually go in the app store and you'll see that it will let me download this app and as you can see there, pulled it up, it says waiting. So now the App Store and our iPhone thinks that it is running iOS 5.1, which obviously is not the case. So um, we're going to let that load up, and then uh, there's a couple other things that we need to do. Um, we have to install a Cydia app to prevent the crashes from happening. And, and I, uh, iPhoto was notorious for crashes when it's running on iOS 5.0.1, but luckily uh, some crafty jailbreak developers actually created a Cydia application for iPhoto that prevents the crashing. So as soon as that's done loading up, we'll go ahead and install that. All right, you guys, so as you can see right here, I have iPhoto installed, um, but before you get all giddy and go editing photos and stuff, we're gonna go ahead and install a uh, Cydia tweak, and what we have to do is just go to the search bar here and search for iPhoto and you'll have it come up it's like the first or second one right here iPhoto 501 fix and so it's going to prevent crashing happening on uh, iPhoto on 5.0.1 so go ahead and install it and confirm it's not very big it won't take that long to install as you can see here iPhoto fix and it's going to have us restart the springboard as soon as the springboard restarts we will have a fully functional iPhoto on our jailbroken device running iOS 5.0.1. All right, now we can go here, see iPhoto, open her up. It's gonna do this uh, annoying updating photo library thing that it's notorious for doing. As soon as that's done, we will be able to edit photos and you can see that, I mean, obviously the app runs fine on a 4S. There, there shouldn't be any reason why it needs 5.1 to run. Um, that's kind of just a software limitation implemented by Apple for uh, whatever reason. Who knows why? I don't know. All right, you see that's loaded up there. Let's go ahead and find a photo to edit. Let's see. Okay, here's a photo of my dog, one of my dogs with a fish eye lens. So we're going to go ahead and edit this one. Let's go and use... Let's see what's in here. Let's use some of these filters right here. And as you can see, it runs smoothly. Um, we're going to go ahead and try this one. Totally edit this photo. No problems whatsoever. It works just fine, you guys. So that is how you install iPhoto on 5.0.1. Um, it'll work perfect if you're jailbroken. Obviously, that's the way you need to do it to be able to edit the system file. If you have any troubles uh, with your iPhone after editing that file, you can always change it back once you've downloaded and installed the uh, iOS 5.1 required apps that you wanted to. You can always go ahead and go back in iFile or MyFile and go back and change 
that version back to 5.0.1. So remember, if you have any trouble, just change that version back. Uh, some Cydia apps might give you a problem. Activator was giving me an issue about it, so you can change it back if you want. That's it, though, you guys. I uh, hope this was helpful for you. Uh, please click this link and subscribe. Meep, meep. And our Twitter link is here. Meep. Our Facebook link is here. Meep. So thank you very much, guys. This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and have a great day.